saying congratulations on the brand new single. We've been playing it on our show and we've been getting amazing feedback from people. So congratulations. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. That's really uh, great news and good to hear that hard work is paying off, you know? Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the track. Like I said, a lot of our listeners are falling in love with the track. So tell us a little bit about how that track has come about. So Kingdom Come, um, it's an interesting track and, and it was an interesting first release for, for my band because, um, you know, we're, we're a little bit more harder rock than that. Like we're more metal. I mean, it is metal, but you know, more faster driving metal. Uh, but the reason we released that one first was a we just happened to finish that one first but uh it also had um i think some deep messages in it uh the song is is basically about uh what what we're saying in the song is pretty much hey uh, you know the world is a little upside down right now between pandemics and politics and people fighting and racism and all kinds of stuff and uh, you know, we're just we're just saying, hey, you know, stop for a minute and take a look around and, and live in your moments and stop getting mad and stop fighting with people. And and, you know, today, one of the lyrics in the song is uh, uh, live today. It only happens one time. It only happens once. So so what we're saying is, hey, you know, you, you're going to you're going to uh, have all these problems and you're going to let it bother you and fight and, and have a bad day, but you don't have to do that. You, you just need to stop and, and, and embrace the moments that you have, you know? So It's such a, a great message to get across to people, especially like you said, after the last couple of years with the world being such a crazy place. Did it feel important for you to get that message out there to your fans? You know, it, it, it is important and, my my music and my band, um, you know, I write all the music and I, I have a couple of people that collaborate with me, but um, the idea of, of Ada Pie, which is which is the band, is we're we're putting out music with substance and 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 lyrics that have a lot of depth to them, messages and the idea is to put out a record like 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 the old days like like a like a dark side of the moon or a or a or a physical graffiti where where you can listen to the whole album and it all makes sense and you, you're never going to want to skip a track because you know you're going to enjoy the next song the next song and the next song and it has it has a message it has it says things it, it punches you in the chest a little bit you know so tell us a little bit about the band. You've got such vast experience in the music industry. What's it like starting out with a brand new band, and how did this band come about in the first place? Okay, so that's that's an interesting question. Um, the last record that I put out myself was in the early two thousands, and it was it was an instrumental record, um, and it was very avant garde. It was more of a, a musician record if that makes sense um a yeah. lot of people compared it to like frank zappa meets uh uh you know steve Vai, i guess if you want to say um and my background i think you know is i'm a recording and mixing engineer mainly a mix engineer i, I mix a lot of records and i've worked in the um recording end of things for many many years but i've always been a guitar player and a songwriter and when the pandemic came along i guess um that inspired me to say hey you know what it's time it's time that i write a record and, and put something out again and 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 uh and, and do my art I, I need to do my art because uh i don't know how long i'm going to be around and and that's what makes me the happiest is to create my art and um, I, you know, I'm doing this for myself and, and I have to enjoy what I'm doing. I have to like the music I'm doing. And then once, once I get past that, if somebody else enjoys it and likes it, uh, it makes it all that much better. You know, it really, it's, it's nice to see, uh, I've gotten a lot of positivity from it. Um, and the other thing too about the song is 
uh, I've had people reach out to me and, and tell me what it means to them, which is different than what it means to me. Uh, and that's really special too, because they're getting their own thing out of it, which is great. Definitely. Now tell us a little bit about the guys that you work with in the band. Like you would have known a lot of musicians over the years. So how did you go about picking which ones you wanted to work with in Ada Pie? So it's funny. Um, most of that track is all me. Um, you know, I play guitar, bass, keys. Um, my friend seven, uh, had did the drums uh, and a couple of other instruments and um, helped me with some of the production. Um, and uh, But I also have on this record, um, like Mark Mendoza from Twisted Sister will be will be appearing on this record. Um, uh, um, Randy Jackson from Zebra, hopefully. Uh, you know, I, I have a couple of guests. As, it, as I release singles, I have some guests that are going to be on here that I've worked with over the years and I'm proud of, but it's really, uh, it's really me. It's, it's my writing and it's, and it's my, uh, brainchild, if that makes any sense. Definitely. And everyone's going to ask, so I may as well ask, where did the name Ada Pie come from? Okay. So, so, it, you know, it's just a funny name, Ada Pie. Yep. Um, there was a movie years ago called Ford Fairlane. I don't know if you ever saw it with, uh, Oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, was it, uh, who was, who was it? Uh, oh yeah, it was, uh, um, God, uh, I can't think of his name, but anyway, one of the lines in the movie was, uh, you know, like, um, he was, at, he was at a fraternity or, or, or so, yeah, fraternities like, yeah, I'm over here at eight of pie, you know, and um, it was, it just stuck in my head and we wanted to do something that was fun. So, uh, we just called it eight of pie and we spelled it number eight. A and then the word pie. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. I, I love good original band names. It's really funny. Like I see a lot of young bands come through and then the names are so generic. I love it when there's a band name that really stands out and is memorable as well. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so tell us a little bit. You mentioned about some of the guest artists that we can expect to hear on the album. Tell us a little bit about the album. Is Kingdom Come a good representation of what we're going to hear on the rest of the album yeah so so kingdom come is what i would consider my ballad which is really not a ballad you know it's 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 a it's a, it's a slower tempo but it's a rock you know it's a lot of heavy guitars and rocker and it goes to a lot of different places the rest of the record um the rest of the record is more up tempo uh harder i you know i, I don't want to compare it to anything um one of the things that I think you will notice from from Kingdom Come is the quality of the recording and the production is off the hook, and that's you know we're putting our time into it. We're we're recording it kind of old school hybrid, you know, I'm using all like analog gear, and then going into to the computer and doing it that way. We're taking our time with the tracks and and the parts and really thinking things out. Um, so the quality of the music and the recording are very, very important. And I think that's where this album is going to stand out compared, you know, with, well, I, there's a lot of good stuff out there and I'm not, you know, uh, dissing anybody, but I'm just, what I'm saying is that I think this record uh, will have an impact. People will hear it and say, wow, this, I've never heard anything quite like this. I'm hoping. Definitely. Now, you mentioned before about um, it was during the pandemic that you decided that you wanted to get your own art out there and to work on your own art. Did have did the pandemic actually give you more of a chance to do that? Because we always hear these negative stories about um, how the um, pandemic affected the music industry, and it did, but it also gave some artists that opportunity to sit down and work on something that they would never have normally worked on. Was that the case for you as well yeah it, it was and it wasn't you know um because of the pandemic um i was actually very i was pretty busy um mixing records and working with people i i do a lot of work with joan jett and the black hearts and i and i was uh you know i was busy with them uh, on certain things um i i did a track from miley cyrus um Boy, boy, I'm working, believe it or not. Uh, are you familiar with the band Zebra? Yes, yep. 
Yeah, so I'm, uh, we're, we're actually working on a new single for Zebra. And, um, you know, so, so I've, I've been, knock on wood, busy. And I, uh, there's a band called Holy Mother. I did a couple of mixes for them. Um, that was uh, an old band with uh, Randy Coven on bass and a pretty cool metal band. And, and um, uh, this guy, Mike Torelli, uh, is the singer of that band. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but they're, they're great. And, and I've been mixing a lot of other bands, uh, you know, a lot of mostly metal, mostly hard rock, hard rock and metal stuff is what I do. The Miley Cyrus thing um, was interesting because that came to me through Big Machine. Um, and it was, but it wasn't like it's, it was pop, but it still had a rock edge to it. So it was, it was in my wheelhouse yep. and, uh, and, um, and then through that, I, I did something else. Um, there's this, uh, there's this, uh, gal, her name is Wanda Jackson, who was when Elvis Presley was, uh, like on top of his game back in the day she was considered like the female Elvis Presley of the time. Now, not, not as big as him, obviously, but she was, she made a lot of noise in the, uh, in the Southern rock and, and country, um, you know, uh, music, uh, scene back yeah. in the day. And, um, I mixed a record for her. So, and that came out on big machine. So, uh, I can't, you know, a couple of nice, uh, labels that I worked with over the pandemic and uh yeah and it, it but being that uh we weren't really going out anywhere I, you know i was in the studio and i said hell I'm, I'm gonna write my record i have a lot of feelings and emotions right now um you know my wife and i we we lost her father to the to covid and it was very devastating and uh you know i guess that was the that was the first domino that fell and, and i and i i had to you know start writing um you know, and then, you know, here in America, we had all this stuff going on with with the politics and the, the you know, the, the the whole thing that happened on January 6th at the at the uh, at the Capitol. You know, it's, it's just crazy craziness. Let me tell you, like we, we you know, we were having riots in the streets yeah. and, it, and in, I'm here in New York and, you know, we're, we're thinking to ourselves, what's going to happen? Yeah. The, the world is going nuts. I, I think so, that's better to do than make music. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a side of the of the pandemic also that a lot of people didn't think about. I know for me personally, um, I've been an asthmatic my entire life. So I kind of had in the back of my mind what happens if I catch it. Luckily yeah. when I did catch it, I it set me back for six weeks, but I got over it. And I think a lot of people actually started to think about how they've been spending their life and what's the things that they want to achieve because suddenly we were all faced with a virus that could uh, that could uh, sadly end anybody's life. So I think a lot of people yeah. went through that where they were like, what do I want to do with my life? And I think it's fantastic that you've been able to, to sit down and work on your own music. Yeah, and you know, like this project, right now it's pretty much we're, we're, what I'm calling an, uh, we're an online band. You know, we're, we're putting out great music. Um, I'm, I'm putting out videos that are that I, I also feel are artwork in themselves. We're gonna have some merch. We're trying to build an online fan base. Um, uh, you know, David from the Metalist is helping me out a lot, uh, putting putting my stuff out there, and uh, I'm also working on getting like sync licensing and, and things like that. And if and if it does come to the point where where there's a demand to for us to go out and play we'll put we'll put it together you know yep. we, we will put the band together and, and do it so and for all the listeners out there who are loving kingdom come how can they follow you online okay so we're we're on all the social media platforms where you know you can find us on facebook instagram twitter tiktok um and we also do have the website which is adapi.com spelled the way uh you know it sounds the number eight letter a p i e dot com awesome well fader thank you so much for taking the time to chat to us today it's been an absolute honor having you on the show we're going to play kingdom come on our show again right now so what would you like to say to everybody out there before they take a listen to this amazing track once again and before they get a chance to go out and grab the album when it comes out as well i just want to tell everyone thank you for the support and supporting metal and hard rock live music and just 
you know, live your moments. Don't don't forget to to live in the now and and just rock it out. 